with Jamison at the free throw line. Number 21. The Wizards bench has done a good job in that stretch on our quarterly report. Yeah, that's a good stat to show because I was thinking that when Gilbert and Brendan and Jameson came back in, how our bench did a good job of, of holding them off. So a 7-1 advantage. Jameson gets the bounce on the second free throw. Antoine has 14 points on 5 of 8 from the field. Also has 7 rebounds. No big good defense by Daniels. Now he lays it off. Monovich. Looks like Rodmanovich has brought his shooting touch tonight and uh, has dropped a couple of shots from the outside. Was that a three? Yep. Butler gets inside, draws contact. Karan will get a couple of free throws out of that. And they call the foul on Rodmanovich. And a timeout on the floor. The Wizards are playing strong here in L.A. on their first of four out west. 5.37 to go in the half. They lead it 39-36. Lakers are shooting 67% here in the second quarter. They've cut the Wizards lead from eight to three. Gilbert Arenas and Kobe Bryant are ones to watch. So far, they both put on a show. Gilbert with 12, Kobe with 10. And speaking of ones to watch, the guy that always seems to be watchable is here again tonight, Jack Nicholson. In fact, before the game, he sits just three people away from us. I said, I haven't seen The Departed yet. He said, I'll get your money yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will, because it was a great movie. Uh, your faces here in Los Angeles. Penny Marshall, big Laker fan. I thought she was a Clipper fan, fan too. Yeah, she's a basketball fan, actually. Yeah. Anthony Kiedis in the crowd tonight. Butler missed the first and made the second. They're on 10th in the league in free throw shooting. Wizards by four, and Butler nearly had the steal. The Wizards pick it up defensively. Parker lost the ball, and... It's a kick on White, which are the Lakers, and it's Wizards ball. And that all started with the aggressive defensive attack by Karan Butler. He disrupted their half court, kicked the ball into the back, uh, into the backcourt, and really got them uh, scrambling offensively. Wizards are seventh in the league in steals per game. Gilbert is second, and Butler is seventh. Yeah, Gilbert with nine steals in the last two games. Oh. Again, Butler draws contact. Doesn't mind it though. Nope. Although it's interesting, as you, you mentioned, when we when we uh, were coming over in the car, he's got a sinus problem when he comes out here. Yeah, I, I saw him checking out of the hotel. His eyes were red. Oh, he, oh, he had a nasal oh, problem. Oh, I thought it was a cold. He said, no, sinuses. He said, whenever I come out here, it seems yeah. to bother me. So. And, and today here is perfectly clear. I mean, I don't know if you can, if it's out there, but you can't see any. Sometimes you can't see it. I mean, I, I felt the same way uh, in the past when I used to come here. I used to have uh, allergies and sneeze a lot. But uh, uh, some people, it obviously affects a little bit more than others. Butler gets both free throws this time. Wizards by six. Washington has 18 points in the paint. L.A. has eight. Doing a good job defensively so far. Brian Cook in the game. Passes off to Parker, guarded by Jamison. And Gilbert reaches around and nearly got the steal. They're going to say L.A. ball? How's that yeah, possible? Yeah, <laughs> they got it. No, now they change it. They yeah. change it and give it to Washington. Because Evans uh, gets control of it. He's trying to push it back to his teammate. Well, goes he, out of bounds. He was lying on the sideline. He was out of bounds. Daniels for a long jumper. Good three-pointer from Antonio Daniels. Just his third this season. Yeah, hasn't taken many. I think that's only his 13th attempt. But... Uh, 
That's a good sign to see. He's really been struggling with his outside shot. Wizards have their largest lead of nine. Evans knocks one down. Maurice Evans in his fourth year from Texas. First year in L.A. after last season in Detroit. Played in Sacramento. And his first year Miami. Cutler's jumper's too strong. Smush around Jamison. Lost it. Hit the bottom of the rim. Gilbert, nice pass. Daniels, he's fouled. And A.D. will go to the line. Well, came very close to taking an extra step, but that was such a difficult pass. He had to reach back behind him to receive the pass and then continue with his momentum towards the basket. And then he got nailed by Juriaf that uh, got it pretty good. But uh, much like Karan Butler, A.D., one of those guys that gets knocked down and gets right back up. Mm -hmm. In fact, you, you almost get the feeling that he relishes the contact he when he goes to the yeah. left. <laughs> there, he just received the pass. You can see him kind of lean into his defensive player, mm -hmm. make sure he gets the contact. He's been very solid from the line. 25th in the NBA in free throw shooting. Against Miami, Friday had five points, a couple of rebounds, three assists, and a block in almost 11 minutes off the bench. Wizards again by nine. Hook on the turnaround. Too strong. Nice rebound by Gilbert. Get some help from those guards in the rebound. And Arenas is fouled by Smush Parker and then pushed aside. Got him. And they got him on a technical foul. It's on Brian Cook. You can believe after what we saw last night, officials going to be very quick to to keep an eye on any type of uh, unnecessary pushing or shoving. I'm sure many of our viewers, Phil, saw that incident in New York. What were your thoughts on it? Well, I, I thought it was uh, an ugly scene. And uh, just because the fans weren't involved, I still thought it was an ugly, ugly scene. And then and, and tempers just continued to get out of hand. And obviously, Carmelo's going to be in some serious I thought the, the, the security folks in New York did a nice job in keeping it on the floor and keeping it out of the first row. And now the Wizards are in Denver tomorrow night, so you you, you have to think Carmelo will not be there. And, and J.R. Smith. Smith. He was uh, seriously involved uh, through a punch as well. Now all those other starters who were ejected were on the floor at the time. But I got to believe, like I, I saw Nahara playing the role of trying to separate things. I got to believe that they just did that just because they're had to be a lot of bad blood out there. There was only a minute left to go in the game. And uh, so they just wanted to clear all that bad, you know, bad blood off the court, finish the game and right. it over with. You saw the players ejected, and now the question is who will be suspended from play when the Wizards face Denver tomorrow night? Washington with a 12-point lead, their largest in the game for Rodmanovich who is six of nine from the field, has 15 points. Nuts it to 10. Steve Buckhans, Phil Chenier. This is the matchup we saw a lot of last year when Evan was with Detroit because of his big body. And he's still quick laterally. They think he can bother Gilbert. That time Gilbert was able to get position around him and draw the contact. Gilbert has 15 points. He's made all three of his free throws and he's back there again. As a coach, I mean, you got to look at Gilbert and say, what do, what do I do to stop this guy? He's too quick for anybody that's strong enough to stay in front of him. And uh, anybody that's quick enough, he's too strong for them. Well, and, and of course, opposing coaches obviously say the same thing about Kobe Bryant. Yeah. They're similar in that regard. They're both extremely lightning quick off the dribble. Both have great moves, both very strong and tough to stop. And both have good range, too. I've seen Kobe go crazy from three-point range. Washington by 12. They're enjoying a 13 to 4 run. Peter knocks it out of bounds. And there's a timeout on the floor. So 255 remain in a first half that's been mostly all Washington. They produce leading the Lakers by 12. Hey fans, watch the Wizards when you want with Comcast Sportsnet on demand on Comcast Digital Cable. Comcast Sportsnet, nobody does basketball better.
Strong performance from the big three. Arenas has 17. Jamison has 14 on five of eight shooting. Yeah, he's getting the shots in his comfort zone there. You can see him spot up for the three. Gilbert misses, but he's right there to snatch that missed shot and put the get the quick put back. See his numbers. Anytime Arenas has the last five Washington points all at the free throw line. Speaking of stars, Britney Spears is uh, at the game tonight, leaving for halftime early. <laughs> She's just, dis get started. just oh. disgusted with this Lakers start here, Phil. They're down by 12. Kwame Brown back in the lineup with Walton. Here's Kobe, guarded by Butler. Help from Haywood. Now they go to Walton. Inside around the screen, Haywood got up in the air and the contact was made. And the foul call. They filled. The Lakers have played 23 games this season, just seven of them on the road, and one of those games was here. <laughs> Against the Clippers, yeah. yeah. You look at that foul called on Brendan Haywood, but you're right, now they are getting ready to take their first extended road trip, the six game road trip. Uh, one of those games, of course, would be in Miami on Christmas night. Right. Why do you think that discrepancy happened where they played 16 games at home and just seven on the road? I, you know, I find it hard to believe. I, I, we were going over that other stat that we saw from November 10th to December 10th. They had 13 home games. And, uh, and one of the road games they had was the game against the Clippers that right. we talked about. So you're talking about 14 games played right here. Haywood knocks it up into the air and misses. Of course, the Clippers played here today. They played the Houston Rockets at 12.30 this afternoon, and Houston won the game 108-103. Well, well, another interesting thing, what about Houston? They've been here since Thursday. They played the Lakers here Friday. They're not leaving until Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be their second home. Walton backs in, gets some help from Arenas. Gilbert Smush takes the fake, goes up and misses. Two minutes. Nice save. play. <laughs> nice play by Daniel. I'm sure that was out of bounds. 150 to go in the first half. Washington by 10. Arenas for Haywood inside. He got fouled with no call and he made the shot. What a recovery. What a nice flip pass from Gilbert. Yeah, he's looking at Danny Crawford and saying, I can't get hit across the arm any more than that. Kwame, good defense. Missed it. Excellent defense by Haywood. Stood his ground, forced Kwame to shoot a fadeaway. Gilbert. Nice pass for Brendan inside. They swing it out to Jamison. Catches, shoots, and scores a three. Wizards by 15, their biggest lead. Fans deadly silent here at Staples Center. Parker around the Kwame screen. Jump into Haywood. Brendan the rebound. Haywood's fifth rebound. And here are the Wizards with one minute to play in the half. Yeah, this first half, they had some very solid defense. Oh. Score the field goal. Haywood will go to the line. What an impressive performance by the Wizards to end this half. Well, once again, they get the penetration. Now the flip pass over to Brendan. Rodmanovic gets a piece of the ball, but also a piece of Brendan. And Brendan, as we've seen the last three or four games, showing some strength inside to, even with contact, putting shots down. Even on his rebounds, you can see how he's stronger in gathering yep. the ball and hanging on to it. This is two hands. I like that. Obi's jumper good for three. Gilbert sets, fires, and can't get the three and a loose ball foul call on Haywood. And he recognizes trying to, but you like those kind of fouls, going for those offensive rebounds. He thought he could get that tip. But Kwame did a good job of uh, boxing him out. And here you see almost coming, getting the tip and coming over the back of Kwame. Well, two nights ago, the 
Lakers were down by 17 at the half to Houston. They came back to win the game in double overtime here when Kobe had 53. A moment